I think that getting those budgets started on the front end will help people see them, understand them better, and get us out of here earlier too. A lot of times we get at the end of the session and stuff's getting passed and thrown out some of those budgets that we don't understand. Okay, so the legislative leaders of the Joint Finance Appropriations Committee came into this session with a new idea on how to pass state agencies' budgets. Yeah. They wanted to simplify it instead of having to sit through countless days of three-hour meetings about money. Well, the idea of passing maintenance budgets, like skeleton budgets, they were called, has turned to kind of a bit of a nightmare now that they have to come back and readdress these requests and these line items. Well, apparently the change in process has not been received well by several members of the committee and the majority party. To be fair, this JFAC process, Joe, has been kind of like flying a plane while still building it, but yeah. you can keep your Boeing 737 jokes. But Joe, this has kind of actually been like, some of the pilots have different blueprints for this plane. And it's interesting too, because Brian, I walked into the Capitol with our photojournalist, Jason Foster, a random person came up to me and said, what are you here covering? He said, we're here to cover the budgeting process. And she said, oh, well, it only took 20 some years to make JFAC and budgeting exciting. <laughs> And it's a little too exciting if you ask some members of JFAC. Here's why. On Friday, there was a sudden change of format, budgets being passed according to essentially the older process. And one group of lawmakers, they knew the plan going into Friday. The others realized what has happened during the budget meeting. Here's what lawmakers have to say. After beginning the legislative session with the new budgeting procedure, a sudden change was made this past Friday in the Joint Finance and Appropriations Committee. A group of lawmakers brought budgets using the former process. It was a process vote. That's what it really was, because we were doing one, one type of work here, and they were going a totally different direction. JFAC co-chairs Representative Wendy Horman and Senator Scott Grow now have a new challenge to navigate. Budgets created with two different processes. Uncertainty. Anytime you have change, there's uncertainty, and people are uncomfortable with that. They're comfortable with the way it's happened previously. They know how that works. They're not quite sure how this one's working, and so it gets, gets them a little disconcerted, and they uh, start to kind of pull back a little bit. Senator Janie Ward Engelking, along with 11 other lawmakers, brought new budgets to committee out of concerns about that new process. Some of us made sure that we took our names off the other budgets, and we, um, we recreated what we believe are truly maintenance budgets. Senator Ward Engelking says it comes down to things missing from budgets that she and others believe should be in the so-called maintenance budgets. We'd been working all week on them. I don't, I mean, nobody was surprised that we were bringing alter, alternative budgets. I think they were surprised that we put everything in the budget that needed to be there for maintenance. Unbeknownst to some of us, there was a group that decided they wanted to go back to last year's budgeting method. And the rest of us figured that out pretty quickly. So we knew that's what was up. Nobody else in the room would have known that. Senator Scott Herndon supports the new process as a member of JFAC. He believes it digs deeper into budgets. We never really scrutinize it. We only look at 19% of the total budget on average every year. So 81% were pretty much just rubbing, rubber stamping year over year. And this new method would allow us in the interim between sessions to dive down into the base budgets and really keep these two pieces separate. What I say is I'm now able to vote in support of the Idaho State Police, for example, but maybe I don't want to buy their new helicopter, which would be the line item. Now I can have two different votes on those two different issues. A lot of this comes down to a hypothetical question that is floating out there. What if lawmakers pass maintenance budgets and then simply don't come back to add supplemental funding, therefore they shortchange agencies and programs? Well, JFAC's co-chairs say that is not their end game. First, the law requires that we consider all the agency requests and the governor's requests. We will go through thoroughly and consider everything by law that we're required to do. So that's kind of a strong man argument that we're going to pass those and go home. We're, we're not going to do that. I think they haven't looked at our calendar. They haven't looked at what we've scheduled to do. It's on the schedule. We intend to evaluate all of those as we have in the past, but separately. So this is a very complex and evolving situation, and here's the latest for you here at 508. The Idaho House was supposed to take up appropriation budgets today, essentially giving lawmakers a referendum on what process they want to use. So the House began their session at 11. They quickly broke, though, to meet with their respective parties in private caucus meetings, and those meetings went on for nearly two hours, Brian. So lawmakers didn't 
vote on the budgets today. They ran out of time. They were debating behind closed doors about how they want to proceed on all of this. It's a very important process and a very you know intricate conversation. I am told though from several sources inside the state house that the Idaho House will take up these uh, appropriations tomorrow on the floor. I'm also told into the afternoon and evening there is continuing caucus meetings. So okay. we'll kind of see how this all falls. And again, I want to really put out a disclaimer. This is a very complicated topic. So there's going to be a lot of nuance and stuff that is outside of what you just saw and we'll continue to follow that for you. So basically there if there are two budgets that have been passed for one agency, that's how they're going to handle it. They'll take up one and just ditch the other one. That, that's a great question. We don't know. Okay. It's possible that if they pass one, the other one's dead. They can bring one. There's a lot of levers that can be pulled here. So we'll find out and a lot of time left. Well, maybe Jay we'll exciting again. It's exciting again. Ever? Was it ever? Now it is it's exciting now. All right. Thanks, Joe.